The Protégé mobile app is available from the Google Play Store and from the Apple App Store. Once you've downloaded the app, open it from the application directory on your device. When you launch the app for the first time, you're taken to the initial login page. From here, you can log in using your ICT website account. This method of authentication uses the email address and the password stored by the ICT website. If you are using the Android version of the app, you can also log in using your Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter account. If you'd prefer not to use your existing credentials, you can create a new app-only account. Before you can use the app, you'll be prompted to enter a new PIN. This is used to secure the app. You can then select how often you want the app to prompt you to enter the PIN. Click Done to confirm. To add your protege site to the app, access the sidebar menu and tap My Places followed by the Add icon. To start, enter a name for your place. Ideally, this should match the name of the site that your protege system is controlling. For the external address, Enter the URL that you would usually use to access your protege system from outside the building's Wi-Fi coverage. For the internal address, enter the URL that you use to access your protege system from inside the site's network. Next, enter the username and password that you use to log in to your protege system. If you want to be able to receive push notifications from the app, enable the option at the end of the page. Tap Save to finish creating the place. When your place is first created, you're taken directly to the home page and shown some helpful tips on how to use the app. With the initial setup complete, you can now find your way through the menus, view live events, and control your site remotely from your home, your office, or on the road. Want to find out more? Email sales at ict.co or use the links in the description to connect with ICT through our social media accounts.